Today, we're going to be talking about Master P and his son, Romeo. This is what happened, you guys. Master P paid tribute to Twitch by posting a video of Twitch and Snoop Dogg dancing on the Ellen Show with the caption, Rest in peace to the one and only dancing DJ Twitch and salute at Snoop Dogg for celebrating him. These are crazy times we're living in. You can be smiling one day and gone the next. He was supposed to be a guest DJ on a concert we were having January 13th. Life is too short. Appreciate your loved ones. Mental illness is real. Shout out to Post Malone and Dre London. Coming together with me for the cause. Pound, God is good. I guess this must have struck a nerve with Romeo because he began to call his father out. Let's take a look at what he said. Today was a boiling point. I seen a man avoid his own children's struggle with suicide and depression, but post another man who passed away today that he doesn't even know. Y'all idols be lost. Better stop following the blind. Watch when is revealed. Then Master P tells him this. I'm not going to read it. I'm just going to summarize it. Basically, he's telling Romeo to stop blaming him and social media is not a place to heal. He also wanted Romeo to know that he loves him. Romeo goes on to tell his father that this is the last straw. He's basically going to let the cat out of the bag. And he is letting the world know his mom was right about everything. Master P had this to say. Let's get into this video. It's a sad day because I got to get out of character and put this on the internet, which I don't want to do. But I try to call my son. People say, why you call? I did. He don't call back. It's been months. So my question is to Romeo. Like, if you've been in the business for long as you've been in and you're a 30 something year old man and if you've been around me watching me hustle and do my thing why are you not where you want to be at because that means you're not listening that means you want to do your own thing you done brought your own circle your own circle of people but you can't get mad at me because i really thought this was about the only reason i entertain this on social media i thought it was about the dj twitch uh post i put up and i thought it was about my daughter's death i thought you was grieving Mental illness is, is real. But I want to tell all the people out there that just don't understand how bad my heart hurt. Romeo lost a sister, but I lost a daughter. And for any parent that's going through this, because I know that it brings people closer together or it tear them apart. But I come from nothing, y'all. And I could go back. I'm cool with it. I won't be angry at God. I won't be upset. I won't go get mad and, and be disrespectful to my parents and none of that stuff. I just say, Dad, thank you for putting me in this world. Now to get out and hustle and go do my thing. But that's the problem. When you take kids and you, you kind of like uh, protect them from the real struggle and the pain. And you don't allow them to deal with their own consequences. And then when they grow older, they, oh, you never gave me nothing. At 30 something, man, people could go back and look, you've been shining for a long time, son. All you gotta do is pick up the phone and call me or come to the house and holler at me. The saddest thing about this, this is what the people wanna see. They wanna see destruction. So if you destroy me, what are you gonna do for the rest of the family? Are you gonna take care? You told me <laughs> on the post that you put up, oh, you go take care of people in the community. That's what you're supposed to do when you come from that. You go help people. I'm just not helping ungrateful people. I'm not an ATM machine. People can't just say they love me when I give them something. I'm tired of that, y'all. And any other parents, you could be rich or poor at a smaller level. You might give your kids ten dollars, but if that's all you got, I've always fell off, got back up, hustled, did my thing. I'm tired of all these blog sites and all this stuff poking and having fun. Y'all can, but I'm about to go back to work and do what I got to do. I love my family. My door is always open for my son. To be honest, because we shouldn't have to go through this. And if I'm wrong, forgive me. I'm apologizing to you if I'm wrong. I'm still a work in progress. I come from nothing. Everybody go through trauma. I'm dealing with this right now, but I love going out into the community and helping people. That's the way I heal. Allow me to heal. I don't have to be sitting around moaning and crying and all. I, I can't get my daughter back. But I can get out there and keep a legacy going, keep a name going. So let's do this in love and let's do this in peace. Because this is what the system wants. Think about it. We stronger together. But you older now. So you got to lead by example for the rest of the kids. And we're going to get through this. I'm just telling y'all, keep keep y'all prayers. We need it. And, and, and God going to do what he got to do. You know, I'm not going to come on here no more. So bloggers and everything else is cool. 
Whatever you want to deal with, deal with Romeo. Whatever y'all think he's saying is true or whatever, that's cool too. I can live with it. I'm in I don't know about y'all, but I can hear the hurt in Master P's voice. I can't believe Romeo exposed his father on the inter internet. Well, I take that back. He is grieving and he is looking for someone to blame. I hope they settle their differences. This just isn't the way to do it. Romeo also wrote a poem. In the poem, he's asking his father, out of all the kids, why is he the only one soaring and not his siblings? And you can tell he's grieving. Could you call your father out in front of the world? I don't know. I can't. I don't think I can do that. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe if you want to see more videos. Until next time, bye-bye.